So, Hasura is a portmanteau of two words, right? I'm going to start off with the first one because it's easy. Haskell. Okay, Haskell is a programming language right here. It's got the cool little lambda and the symbol. Oh, it looks a little different, like they added something or added some colors or something. Anyway, it looks nice. Anyway, Haskell, programming language, as you can see here. Uh, let's see here. Where's my... There it is. Yeah, right there. Um, it's a functional programming language. Declarative, statically typed code. Oh, it's, it says it on the page. I hate it when I say stuff that's written on the page. Um, so programming language. The reason this is part of the portmanteau is because Hasura is written in Haskell. And then the part of it, the second part of it, which gives it the little devil characteristic is if we bounce out to, let's go to DuckDuckGo again. And we type in Asura. There we go. So the one easy way to do this is just look, click on the images. Yeah, okay, we're, we're plenty safe. As you can see, it is a demon god thing of sorts. And if we go over here, get more details about the historical reference to this. So it's a class of beings or power-seeking clans of the Devas in Hinduism. So that word is combined with Haskell, and we get Hasura. <laughs> so that is where the logo comes from and the name of the company. It's a pretty cool stuff. And I love the, the art. The art is just next level on some of this stuff. It's amazing. Uh, a lot of correlation and stories written about different tales and adventures and whatnot around Asura, which is cool. I love it. So you could, you could spend days just looking at the artwork out there and years, if not lifetimes, reading all of the stories. So there we go. That That is now answered. You now know why Hasura is called Hasura and why the logo is a cute little devil-looking thing.